Welcome back to another episode of my top issues but this time with the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. To all the subscribers, welcome back and thanks for stopping by once again. And if you're new here, we make tech videos of all kinds so feel free to drop a sub to get notified of new content. Take note, these are my top issues. My issues don't have to be yours so go easy in the comment section. But before we get into it, here's a short message from the sponsor of this video. City Key Offer specializes in delivering cheap and legitimate software and game codes. If you ever need a Windows 10 Pro key, you can buy one at a very cheap price. To do so, just visit cdkeyoffers.com. Search for Windows 10 and choose a suitable copy for you, but in my case, I always go for a professional copy. Before making a payment, make sure to type in the RC20 code for an exclusive 20% off discount. After that, you can choose your preferred payment method. You will receive the code via an email that redirects you to the website of CD Key Offers and from there you can get your Windows 10 key. Since my Windows copy is already activated, I can just simply change my product key to the new one that I just bought. CD Key Offers provides permanently valid keys with 30 days of return and exchange period. You can check out more deals in the video description below. Okay, to be honest with you, I had a hard time finding an issue with this phone. I mean. It's a really good all-around phone that ticks all the boxes whether it's battery life, design, display, or even the sound quality. The only nitpick here is the lack of a headphone jack. I think Xiaomi could have put that jack at the bottom and put the SIM tray back to the left side. Although you get a dongle in the box, we all know you're going to lose it after a few weeks. Instead of talking about issues, I want to talk about the durability of this phone. This is not a glass phone. The back is using plastic as well as the railing. If you use a case on this one for so long without periodically cleaning the surfaces, I have a feeling the material will not age very well. Just take a look at this Oppo device from a couple of years ago. It's unsalvageable at this point. No matter what solution or cloth we use, the marks cannot be removed. However, I also feel the matte finish on this Xiaomi device will make it more durable against the one on the Oppo with a glossy finish. But then again, time can only tell. Well, this was a pretty short one simply because this phone is awesome, it's nearly perfect for what it is and how much it costs. So if you've been saving up for this phone, this phone is easy to recommend to anyone looking for an all-around device that can last for a few years depending on what type of user you are. And if you're looking for that single issue that might make you stay away from this phone, I just simply can't find it here. I did make a 30 day review on this phone, you can check the channel if you want to see that. But you can also expect a 60 day review very soon for those who want a longer term review. That's it, drop a sub or like if you feel supporting the channel and until the next one, stay safe. <laughs>